Look who's up. Good timing. We're closing in on her stern as we speak. That's the ship? She's huge. Law, go gather the others, will you? Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. Long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. What'll you do if they catch on to us? Not much I can do. Ship that size, they'll probably blow us to bits before we ready cannons. Persistent little things. Evidently, I shouldn't have spared the wretched vermin. Hungry already, my dear? Worry not. For you shall have plenty to feast upon shortly. Perfect. You managed to get us right up beside them. I'll stay with the ship so we can leave as soon as you're done. Good. Then let's find Almadria. brought this on. What you said helped to calm me. Uh, don't mention it. Now that's what I call a ship! Yeah. The biggest one in all of Mahogsar. So big that it took years to construct. For all we know, Kelselik may well have been smuggling materials to help build it. In which case it would be yet another mistake on my part. We don't know that she was only getting materials from Menencia. You think it's possible that they might have come from elsewhere, too? Yeah, I guess I could see it. But what do you think Almadria plans to do from here on out, now that she's abandoned her realm and sailed out to sea? She'll be filling her coffers with gold, most likely. Then she'll sit back and enjoy the show as the other lords duke it out. Or something to that effect, at least. I wouldn't put it past her. She's strong, yet shrewd and will stoop to any low. A dangerous one indeed. She's not the first, and she won't be the last. This is a lord we're talking about, remember? Sounds like you've made up your mind already. There was never anything to decide. No one who can smile like that while doing what she did deserves to roam free. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This might not be the best time, but if you have a minute... Hmm? That mask of yours, it was shattered by a blow from Balsef when you fought back in Calaglia, correct? Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I thought I was a goner. Balsef's brute strength was in a league all its own. Yet half the mask remains. It's remarkably durable. Too durable to be Danon in origin. Shion said the same thing. As if the fact I was wearing it meant there had to be more to me than met the eye. You recalled your name when the mask broke, I hear. Yeah, that's right. 
Although, to tell you the truth, I'm a little scared what might happen when I lose the remaining half. Then again, the idea of not doing something because I'm afraid scares me even more. That's why I go on fighting. Only he who first faces the night catches a glimpse of the dawn. Come again? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Like this should be easy. Bring him down! Here you go! This one's all the dance! I can carve through him! I'm the true gun for you! Engaging! Short range alpha! This one's mine! Prepare for power! Bring him down! 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 Bring Stand back. I'll trip it up. Nice. No scratches on my shield or my armor. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. Take this! Nothing no fun! Take this! No further! Take down their defenses! Fire some fire! Fire if you want, eh? Be my guest. I'll smash you. My Hear my Thank you. Redwell, astral energy. Full throttle. I know fine weapon material when I see it. Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Backing down! Water! Here I come! Go! 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 Go!
Behind you, Shion. a blip on our radar. As I recall, there's a recipe we've yet to try. Yeah. This is the last ingredient we need. Then let's go ahead and prepare it. An opponent like this should be easy. Sealed! 
on the ropes. Don't forget... Got them all. Never seen anything like it. It's an authentication key. They're quite common. Maybe where you're from, but this is new to me. It might go in an elevator somewhere. We should test it out. I won't show you any mercy! Sword 
Heat of the moment. Here's a healing arc. I'll crush you. <laughs> Lightning reflexes. Tenebrous claw. Hit some. Take the strike. Power oh. to oh. the You all right? You I, won't get away yeah. with that. I'll be okay. Too deep is necessary to survive. We may tend to push ourselves a little too hard. Looks like. Some solid equipment. Here, let me Bring them down! I can't kill you forever! Here goes! 
Not in your dreams! Your movement and I'll stop your life. Purge malevolent. Be my guest. Armor won't save you. My Now I'm real mad. They've really got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. Finally, some open space again. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend so much? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Right, here goes! 
Right behind you, Shion. These don't seem like your run-of-the-mill Zoogles the Renans usually keep around. Indeed. I believe it's safe to assume these were used in her experiments. They certainly look as twisted as her. Even here. I wonder what we can make with this. If you can't decide, I'll have it raw. Hey, wait! Don't eat that! This is... I remember seeing instruments just like this back in Estaluva Forest. It looks and smells like some kind of medicine. Whatever this place was used for. I doubt it was anything of repute. An opponent like this should be easy. Take this! Not today! Take this! I'll punch that gun out of your hands! The rebel! Stop them! If it's in the sky, you're mine! We've got flyers! I've got this! Let him mark you! I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! I'll heal you all! Here I come! You're finished! I'm 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 now you see what I can do! Far enough! Eat this! I'm on a roll! Now I never miss! Jump. Get toasty! Burn strike! My turn! It's all a speech song! Then I'll split it open! Not Be my guest! Uh, this is uh, all mine! Not today! Yeah. Will this help? Lightning uh, raging uh, Captain! Can't circle. get out of this! Uh, I owe you one! May a thousand gales uh, be a giant! Dragon swarm! Corpac! Dragon swarm! I'm on it! Come on! You're right! I'm in thrust! Blow away! Demon Fang! Blow away! The Turn of Devastation! Double Demon Fang! Steel! Crush! Water. Now I'm in the groove! Big Blast! I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning Reflexes! Tenebrous Claw! Uh. Take it! Water! Here I come! This one's mine! Uh. Here I come! Uh. It's on! Now you see one. what I can do! Uh. Rain Alpha! Not today! Talent you won't make a fool of me! Here's Here's Alpha. 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 Eat this. Shall escape my judgment! Now! Go for it! Prepare to crumble! Step back! This one's all law!
sense one of your friends, Hoodle? What is that huge flower-looking thing up there? Is that the ship's engine? Indubitably. As one might expect, large ships require large engines in order to sail. And if we destroyed it? We might well sink the ship. Who knows if we would be able to escape before that happens. Ugh. Almadria sure has been busy since the contest began. This isn't Almadria's doing. You mean she didn't build this? The body, yes. However, my guess is that the engine comes from a starship. A starship? As in one of those vessels used to go to and from Lenegas? Correct. The technology employed on Lenegas and in starships is more advanced than anything in our daily lives. Almadria may be resourceful, but she could never produce an engine like this on her own. You mean to tell me we've got even bigger enemies waiting for us up in the sky? Ugh, my head hurts just thinking about it. Don't worry about that for now. Just focus on taking care of Almadria. <laughs> I'm 
There you are! Oh, I on it. your knees! Take this! Take it! Yeah. That freaking does it! Eat this! Oh, 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 Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Anything in order! Where are you going? I can carve through! Not today! Why do you take this? Do it! Sword ring on! Get toasty! Burn strike! Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Xion. make us even more formidable. Forest?
through. Engaging! Engaging! Let's go! Throw them down! Reload! In a bind? I'm out of ammo! Where are you going? Go in! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Nicely done. What's this thing? Who's in a bright and shiny mood?
through. Got you now. Yes. Breaking I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Searing flame! Reload! Now you see what I can do! Right. I really owe you! Sword rain out! I never miss! Almost! Such a failure. A You'll pay on. for that. Why you? Uh, it's weakened. Now we're never. This ends now. Mega Sonic Rush. Still got some fight. Uh, 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 take this. Mega Ray. Move it. Never know how it works. Sword Rain Alpha. Mega Hold Ray. nothing back. Sword Rain Alpha. Coming through. Ha! Now. Scarlet Inferno. Uh, here, here, here it comes. Here it comes. One last one. No, 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 no. Stay away from my friend! Sword Rain Alpha! Will ya? Any more of this will all burn out! Hey, that Sword Rain Alpha! Here we go again! Annihilation! Orochi Fury! Air Explode! Permanent Ranger! I'll take it from here! Let's see how you handle this! Deus Roar! You're mine!
She sure spared no expense on her castle. This must be... The captain's quarters. The presence of the spirit vessel and the sheer extravagance on display can leave no doubt. <laughs> There's no one here. Yeah, but I doubt she's out for a moonlight stroll. You think she jumped ship and ran away again? I doubt it. The conniving witch is probably up to something. Agreed. In any case, as long as she hasn't suddenly sprouted wings, she has to be somewhere on the ship. Let's keep looking. The way this key's been placed, it's like she's daring us to come find her. Yeah. Like it's all some damn game to her. just doesn't like being in her room. I think there's more to it than that. What could it be? Dispose of the trash. Take this. Thank you. I've used a bit too much healing. Finally, some open space again. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. What's wrong, Law? Why do I gotta have a vitamin smoothie? Because you've been eating nothing but meat lately. Your body needs vegetables to stay healthy. Yeah, but does it have to be so concentrated? It's better that way. Even if you hate vegetables, all you have to do is drink it. It's a quick and easy way to get more nutrients. Like you're one to talk, you'll have anything as long as it's spicy. 
Which that vitamin smoothie isn't. I know its taste leaves a little to be desired, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. This sludge isn't gonna make me less hungry. I don't know. If you downed ten of them, I bet you'd start feeling pretty full. Are you trying to turn me into an herbivore or something? If I were you, Law, I'd drink it down sooner rather than later. It's going to start tasting bitter if you let it get warm. It's already bitter when it's cold. Come on, Law. It's good for you. Quit complaining and drink it already. Did we really just spend that much money? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Get in, get out. Engage! I'm right behind you, Shion.
Is this the ship's cargo? What a pain. I can't see anything past all this stuff. Be on your guard. For all we know, there could be something hiding around here. What's this thing? Behind you, Shion. Oh, 
crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! <laughs> now you see what I can watch. This! The enemy wields Dragon arcs too! We'll soon see about that! This one's on mine! Arrow Squall! Searing Flame! Reload! If it's in the sky, it's mine! All good things come to an end! Burn it out! Here we go again! Where is... You going? Here I come! Arrow Squall! Here I come! Mega Ray! Glimmer Flame! Searing Flame! Reload! Confiscated! Yes! All fitting you here and there! May it not be gale! This is looking good! You're out right. of Here I come! Over. No further! Annihilation! Eagle of Leave the target to me! Take waterfall! Hit, 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 Freeze hit, Lancer! Hit, Dance in the wind! Air drop! Dragon Hit it! Hit it! I can carve through armor! Sword Hold on! Here's the Freeze Lancer! I'm on it! Hit, here I go. It's it! And it was not while it lasted. Here I go. I'm on it! Flaming throw! Go away! Now, while it's reeling! Take it down! Behind Sword rain alpha! Shiny Rising wyvern! Rising phoenix! Don't leave! Hey! Blow them away! We can really make weapons with this? Did that get rid of the barrier? We'll just have to go back and check. If Almadria is not in her own room, just where the hell is she? It's possible she may be on the bridge, but I would guess that she's waiting for us elsewhere on the ship. Which means she's most likely chosen a place where she'll have the advantage in a fight. Be careful, guys. I came from an entire family of Dan and Mages, and that woman murdered all of them. All on her own. I hate to say it, but she's an incredibly powerful astral artist. We already know she specializes in controlling wind astral energy. But on top of that, she might try to sick that monster on us again, too. Right. To that woman, life itself is just a toy for her to play with. Let's make sure we put an end to it. Well... There's only one last place to look. Straight ahead. Almadria. She is! 
Almadria! But all alone? Watch yourselves. She's probably planning something. <laughs> I was getting rather tired of waiting around. Oh my, and I see you came along as well, Dan and Witch. Almadria. What's this? I thought you couldn't stand the sight of me. Go on, little one. Show me the full force of that hatred of yours. Otherwise, run and hide like the rat you are. That's enough! How can you smile while causing pain to so many others? That is the way of those who possess great power. The very way we Renans live by. Those with power set the example. And those without it are forced to obey. Though you two seem to have forgotten that's the way these things work. And you really think that justifies your actions? You turned all those people into a hollowed sea! What foolishness. It's only natural that the fate of a slave differ from that of its owner. Very well, I admit I did fan the flames just a tad back in the ends. But it wouldn't have mattered in the slightest if there hadn't been a spark to ignite. Without it, my actions would have been fruitless. Ultimately, it was their very own burning hatred that laid them to waste. To say it was all my fault is simply laying blame at the wrong feet. No one's perfect. We all have darkness in our hearts. But the atrocities that you've committed, they're unthinkable! Your heart is nothing but darkness! What a fool! To think time and time again you would challenge Renan authority without so much as an inkling of how things actually work. Such ignorance is why your kind has been enslaved for 300 years. Almadria. Well, if it isn't Lord Dohalim. These people are my allies and friends. I won't let you insult them so. <sighs> My, what a shock. I never would have expected you to claim mere slaves as your companions. If I didn't know any better, I would question your noble lineage. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. A traitor such as yourself hardly deserves to be called a lord. You are nothing compared to Dohalim. Rinwell. He would never stand by and laugh. His people hollowed! Ha! <laughs> what does it matter? You're descended from those who allowed the power and knowledge entrusted to them to wither away. Your pitiful family may have feared it, but I do not. That knowledge and power is all mine to command. And now, you will witness what that power is truly capable of! Mesmold! <laughs> Over! 
take this! Move! Get it! 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 Stranger to astral arts. I can take care of that. Yeah, take it away. Here's a healing arm. Coming 
through! Ha! No! Scarlet Inferno! You will suffer! This should do it! Bad. Wits about you, people! Not today! Sword Alpha! Dragon I'll never forgive you! What? I'll take you down! <laughs> you don't scare me! Go for it, Rinwell! Hit her now! Save you. You're finished! I never miss! Swallow It's over! Photon's turn! Sword Alpha! It's not in your dreams! Far enough! Let it! Thunder Field! Gemini Aqua! Photon's dance in the wind! Field! Will this help? I'll be saving this one! <laughs> I've let you all down. Stay away from my friend! Ignite! Now or never. Healing circle! Can't get out of I'll this! You back from Here I come! It's over! Try hard, my turn! Raging campaign! In here! 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 The waters have creeped. Blah, blah, blah. Like that that Anything in armor is all gone. Here I come. I can wear you all going. Sword Ring Alpha. Best freaking does it. How Will they come on? Not my fight. Try harder. You'll pay for that. Here goes. Charge the level. Arctic. Swallow blade. In here. Strike. Bring you back from the water. Blah, blah, blah. Can't move! 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 You Thank will you suffer! Come now! Much better. <laughs> You're mine! Behold my true power! Take this! Sword Alpha! Sword Alpha! Sword 
You murdered my mother and father. <gasps> but I'm not like you. Rinwell. Even now, I hate you. But here I am, unable to let go. Honestly, even if I took my hatred out on you here and now, it wouldn't make me feel any better in the long run. I realize that now. So... I won't kill you. I'll take you in, and make damn sure justice is served the right way. You would dare mock me, with your foolish, useless pity? A Danon, Nothing more than a mere slave. I won't allow you to... It's not about what you think. Or being Danon or Renan. Because... You'll atone for the crimes you committed. And that's all. It's that swordsman again. Lord Volron, what brings you here? Uh, no, forgive me. I've forgotten myself. Please allow me to make it up to you, my lord. Silence now, wretched snake. Does it hurt? It should. That pain is proof you're still alive. Enjoy it. Volron. 
gone. Years ago, the Lord of Ganeth Haros met a sudden death. His successor was a man by that very name, Volron. And like a restless lover, I've come back for more. Come and find me, if you truly are the Sovereign. After all this time, I'll be free from this hell. I can finally go home. I doubt I'll ever see this place again. Might as well walk the block once more for old time's sake.
As usual, nobody wants to explain anything to me. They just threaten and harass me instead. What does everyone think I am? Some sort of talking pet? They're the ones that dragged me all the way up here in the first place. Bastards. I shouldn't have bothered coming out. Might as well head back to my room. wanted to go back to Dana to my home Alfin Leori Please. Wait, I... I... What was that? <sighs> that... How long ago was that? <sighs> That's right. Shion! I need to find them. Better start looking.
Niori. Shion. I... One's all mine. Here I come. Eat dirt.
Finwell. What happened just now? Normally you'd be able to take that thing with your eyes closed. Uh, thank goodness you're alive. Are you all right? E yeah. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from, Thistleim. Kisara and La are already there. Flinwell, where are we? Ganeth Haros, Bolron's realm, remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. Luck? If Bolron's here, that means Shion's close too, right? Shion? Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little... off. <sighs> He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village. around here. Thy mystic mercy. Take this. Take this. Arrow score. I'll face you. I'll face if you. It hides, just bash it out again. You're mine. Catapult. Yes. Go get it. Have it. You picked the wrong Arrow fight. Here I come. Freeze lance. Dance in the wind. Here I Air come. Thrust. Mega sonic time. thrust. <laughs> You're finished. Here goes! Confiscated! Sword Raider Alpha! Dragon Swarm! Light Astro Lander Turn! Dragon Swarm! Captivity! Pierce! Take this! It's over! Sword Raider Alpha! I'm ready! Light Astro Lander D! More with that Slash! Dragon Swarm! I'm ready! Double me! In an instant! Impact Claw! Here I come! Freeze Lancer! Sword Lancer! Now! Win! Let us take 
In an instant! Impact cross! Small, but a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. Speaking of Thistleim, it's populated by Danans, but they're not under the rule of any lord. Pretty refreshing, huh? The whole town was built by Danon defectors, escapees from elsewhere. This area is teeming with stray zoogles, though, so heaven only knows how they managed to set up a community here. The ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intentions. <sighs> Say, Elfin, it looks like you got your face back then. Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Oh, but that means... Probably. <sighs> I wonder if Alfin's going to be okay. For now, I believe we should hold off on speculation and simply keep an eye on him. Right. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Alfin! Boy, am I glad to see you safe! Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Xion. There's... something I need to tell you guys first. I... I got my memory back. So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. I... I remember being up on Lenigus.
Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the Crown Contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me, like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword, and the strange powers you possess, they were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I never found out. So if what you're saying about being on Lenegas is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenegas. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maiden they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, so this Naori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit coincidental, isn't it? Naori's family name was Imeris. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? So they're distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... After what I did on Lenicus, over the lives I took. <gasps> lives? You mean, you staged a rebellion? Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenegas was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there, weeping. <laughs> I shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. <laughs> Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenegas? You couldn't possibly have done all that. I wonder... 
In ancient scripture, there is a tell of a terrible calamity that befell Lanagus, nearly destroying it. The restoration took years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the crown contest, to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? But that'd make Alfin... <laughs> That's right. I'm pretty much an antique of a human being. Deep down, maybe I already knew. Alfin. Some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home, committing mass slaughter, only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. So much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined! Alfin, stop! Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. Kisara. Listen. What you really need is time. Time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us. What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. <coughs> this is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? Take some time to think things through, okay? But remember, we're all here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. Thank you. It's fine. All right, everyone. Let's break for now. I... Do I even have the right to fight? Do I have the right to go to Xion's rescue? What do the others think?
will I even accomplish going alone?
All this time, I thought it was the worrying about Xion and the pain bringing you down. I didn't realize you were lonely, too. I guess all of us are, in one way or another. Yeah, but you've only just found out. I mean, no, not found out. Remembered. To tell you the truth, I was actually beginning to forget I'd even lost my memory in the first place. Now that it's returned, I... Well, you can see what I'm like. It's strange. When I think about Lenigus, it still feels like it was only a year or two ago that I was there. But then I realized what feels like years was actually centuries ago. What about your hometown? Do you know if it's still there? I doubt it. When the Renans invaded, the world as I knew it changed overnight. Even if the place is still there physically, I expect the people will be long gone. Certainly everyone I knew, at least. My family. My friends. Yeah. I know how that feels. <clears throat> I have no home to return to either. No family waiting for me. I used to curse my bad luck that I'd ever been born a mage in the first place. Otherwise, if I hadn't, maybe my mother and father would still be alive today. Although if that had been the case, I guess I'd probably still be just another slave with no means to resist. I'd never have met up with you guys, that's for sure. Have you learned to embrace your powers yet? Nah, uh I resent them a little less than before, though. They've kept me alive this long, right? I try not to think about it too much. After all, who can predict what the future will hold? I guess what I'm trying to say is that with everything that's happened in your past, finding out you're the sovereign and all, it's no wonder you're conflicted. Heck, honestly, I think anyone would be. Rinwell. First it was Xion, then it was me, and now it's you. All of us suffering, just because of some power we never even asked for. Yeah. All this time, you were suffering right in front of me, and I never even knew. I feel like... I finally understand what you and Xion were going through. <laughs> you couldn't have known. Still, if you want to make it up to her, shouldn't we hurry it up and rescue her already? Poor Xion must be lonely, all by herself wherever she is. Yeah, you're right. Let's get going. You're certainly full of surprises, aren't you? Trust me, it's not intentional. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Though, there's still an awful lot I wish I could understand. Every new piece of information seems only to yield further mysteries. The truth feels just as elusive as when we first started. I am well aware of where you got your powers. But why, as a Danon, do you bear the same crest as the current Renan Sovereign? More to the point, why choose a Danon for their sovereign in the first place? <sighs> and then there is the Maiden, a figure so powerful, she's playing yin to the sovereign's yang in esoteric ceremonies. And yet, I've never even heard of her. Then again, this all occurred 300 years ago. What if the term sovereign doesn't even hold the same meaning as it did back then? <sighs> Listen, I may be a traitor among my people, but... I am still Renan, born and raised. I learned the same history, listened rapt to the same tales. And yet now I feel like there was little truth to any of it. Speaking of which, there's something else that I remember from the spirit channeling ceremony. It used the Renis Alma. You're certain? Yes. Or at least that's what they called it. Only you would know if it was one and the same. Oh, I have never laid eyes on the real artifact myself. And you never participated in a crown contest. You're not even Renan. Many mysteries lay buried in these three centuries past. Three centuries is more than several lifetimes. Was I really out that long? Well, I'm only estimating based on historical record. But all the facts would seem to point that way. Who the hell am I? If I may be frank, we have even bigger fish to fry than that. 
By comparison, the far more important question at hand is... Just what does it all mean? Frank, huh? Sometimes, we need a little help in addressing the truth behind our pain. <sighs> Not to compete over lives lost, but I suspect your count is still somewhat beneath mine. Thanks for lending me an ear, and sorry for being a bother. Please, no thanks are necessary. The quicker you get back on your feet, the sooner we can all get back out there. What do you see out there? Zoogles. Strays by the looks of it. We unwittingly disturbed their territory on our way here, and now they're looking pretty riled up. So, feel like you're making headway? You know, sorting through things? All I know is Xion needs our help. As for what happens after that... <sighs> Say, how did you get back down here from Lenegas, anyway? I came down in a Renan starship. I have Naori to thank for that. What happened to her? Did she come with you? She stayed behind. Just as I wanted to get back to Dana and my people, Naori's place was with her fellow Renans, performing her duties as the Maiden. Neither of us asked for the power or roles we were given. I suppose we felt a kinship with each other in that sense. But even then... Wait. So you mean it wasn't just Danans like you that Lenegas abducted? You're saying they forced Naori, one of their own, to serve against her will as well? Even within Renan society itself, there exists a hierarchy. I don't think she was ever given the option to refuse. Despite that, she did everything she possibly could to serve her people. The very same ones I ended up slaughtering. And even after that, she still helped me escape back to Dana. <sighs> She stayed behind on Lenigus to help any of her people who survived. I owe her more than words can express. A debt left to fester for what? Three hundred years? How do I even begin to make up for something like that? In all honesty, you don't. You can't atone for what's happened in the past. I don't think anyone can. Be it several centuries ago, or just yesterday. What are you saying? And I might as well give up? I'm saying you don't have to be a white knight in shining armor. <laughs> Back after my brother had passed away, it was you who told me that his dream lived on inside me. And you did the same for him, for Dohalim, when he was ready to give up too. You were there for both of us. You know what I heard? I heard you telling me to keep fighting, to strive no matter what. Then I was out of line. I had no right to ask that of you. No, you're wrong. Those words were exactly what I needed to hear at the time. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I wouldn't even be here had I not heard them. Left to my own devices, who knows when I would have been able to pick myself up. Besides, it's not like killing all those people was a choice that you made of your own free will, right? The truly terrible ones are the people who abducted you. The ones who forced you to wield that power. They're the ones you should be blaming. Not only that, but that guilt you feel inside? That's all the proof you need to know you're a good person, Elfin. Do you understand? If I'm still allowed to fight and keep on living, then damn it, Alfin, so the hell are you. <sighs> but if you're still not convinced, then ask yourself this. What is it that you've really been fighting for this whole time? Go on, ask yourself. What I've been fighting for, huh?
will I even accomplish going alone? Are we gonna go rescue Shion or what? <sighs> What's gotten into you, man? Aren't you worried about her? Do I even have any right to be? If you were in my place, you'd say, to hell with all that. What do you want to do? Sounds like me. Pretending I have all the answers is kind of my forte. <laughs> Come on, man. Snap out of it. This isn't like you. Look, I get it. You finally remember your past, only to feel like you've lost yourself again. You're in shock, and who wouldn't be? Worse still, you blame yourself for what happened. And yeah, I don't agree, but that doesn't mean I don't understand either. But here's the thing. None of that's got anything to do with Xion. I guess. It's about Naori, isn't it? Look, you're still here, aren't you? Who's to say this chick isn't alive and kicking out there somewhere, too? <sighs> Fine, I've said my piece. The thing is, though, where does this leave Xion? I... <sighs> my power consumed me once already. I left behind a path of fire and destruction. And the same thing could happen again. I can't guarantee anyone's safety, including Xion's. So you think we might get burned up because of your sovereign powers? I can think of worse ways to go. Come on, fight this thing! What happened to the guy who talked to me after my dad died? The one who cared enough to reach out and save me? That's the guy I was proud to follow. Not this faltering imposter who's taken his place. Law. <sighs> no, I'm serious. What's gotten into you, man? Just give me the word and I'll beat some sense into you if that's what it takes. Now, I'm gonna ask you this once and only once. Are you serious about rescuing Xion or not? What's it gonna be, Alfin? <laughs> what do you think? Of course I want to rescue her. Hell, I'd do it right now if I could. So then quit griping and do it already! <sighs> Listen, you're probably right about all this. Alfin. It's exactly like you said. Whatever happened in my past has nothing to do with Xion. But there's still so much that I... There I go again. So much for the inspiring Alfin of old. Eh, he could be a pain sometimes. Besides, even a hero has to let the crack show once in a while, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Just give me a little more time to fill in the cracks. And thanks, Law. Hey, don't even mention it. You've totally got this, Alfin. I believe in you. To the inn, I guess. What is it? Zoogles, that's what! They're almost at the village gates! Any closer and they'll be house hunting. I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory. That... sounds bad. Can you fight? No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Kisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... <sighs> I'm up for it. Really? You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's now or never, right? Alfin, right. Great to have you back. Now let's do this! Look sharp, people.
If we don't act fast, they're going to get into the village. Right. We need to hurry. Remember, if the paint's too much... We've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come! We can't let even a... Fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village. Especially after everything they've done for us. Yeah. <sighs> you know, this alum kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found. 
always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh? Is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? Yeah. I won't lie. Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something, too. My rage. This fury I feel at our so-called rulers. It comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Friends. Family. Home. They took everything from me, and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. But not anymore. Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bones with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting. But Xion comes first. Of course. First we rescue Xion. Then we defeat Volron, and liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there! Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thistleum from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. We don't know what lies ahead. We should prepare well before we venture forth. Yeah, can't exactly fight at the top of your game when you're hungry. Good point. Let's stop by the inn and plan our next move from there. By the way, how is Mahavar doing? Uh... <sighs> Wait. Don't tell me we still haven't found him. It's not like we haven't been looking. I've covered the whole length and breadth of the coast, but... All of the other crew members are accounted for, including us. But we weren't able to find Mahavar. He's still missing. I see. Perhaps he couldn't bring himself to abandon the ship. <laughs> you mean at the bottom of the ocean? Damn it. We don't know that it sank. We all washed up on the same shore. If the ship went down, isn't it strange we haven't come across a single piece of debris? Do you think he might still be alive somewhere out there? I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise, we've exhausted all the avenues available to us. All we can do now is press on ahead. Fine. Let's get going. Thistleum was founded by Danon's fleeing the tyranny of Renan lords, right? But when you first came, they must have known Dohalim was Renan. So why do you think they let us in? They almost didn't. But it wasn't just Dohalim they were wary of. They didn't trust any of us. Even the weird Danons just like them? When you live life in constant fear of being pursued, it's only a matter of time before all outsiders start to seem a potential threat. I suppose that makes sense. So how did you convince them to trust us? You saw how destitute the village was. They needed food, badly. We hunted some zoogles for them. That seemed to do the trick. Of course, a little magic-assisted roast didn't hurt things. Never underestimate a full stomach's ability to put a person at ease. It turns out a hearty meal can be a powerful weapon. <sighs> Something's on your mind. 
You having second thoughts about rescuing Xion? Of course not! Xion's our friend! Almadria was the one I hated. For as long as I can remember, she served as a symbol to me of everything Renin. But ever since getting to know Xion, I realized it doesn't make sense to group people together like that. Every individual is different. I see. Besides, the situation with Almadria was something else entirely. I'd already decided I wasn't going to kill her, but when I saw her die right in front of me, a part of me thought it served her right, that she'd gotten what she deserved. But another part regretted that someone else had come along and killed her instead. Don't get me wrong. If I had the chance again, I still wouldn't kill her. But it's not like I'll be shedding any tears now that she's gone. <clears throat> it's all so confusing. I don't know how to make sense of any of it. Who said it had to make sense? Huh? Rinwell, you've done nothing wrong. You've started to question the beliefs you've held all your life. It's only natural for you to feel disoriented. You didn't give in to the hatred you felt for Almadria. You made a choice not to kill her. And that's significant, whether you realize it or not. As for what it means exactly, that might be worth taking some time to figure out on your own. Some time. Or don't, if you don't want to. It's just an idea. I'm still searching too, remember? No, you're... I think you're right. It can't hurt to keep searching after all. And hey, thanks, Kisara. Okay. Why? No. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. What? Is that so? Okay. Great job. I'll teach these small fry who's the... Okay.
You sense one of your pals, Poodle? You sense one of your pals, Poodle? Saying we should check the owl for it? Poodle senses an owl around here.
feels like I'm melting. Calaglia was pretty hot, but at least the air there was dry. Out here, it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup. I can hardly breathe, it's so stuffy. And don't get me started on the insects. You hanging in there, Hoodle? <laughs> it's brutal, all right. I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking. All this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah. I guess when you've lived a life devoid of pain for as long as I have, even feeling hot and bothered can be a welcome change. Well, lucky you, I guess. Just don't expect us to carry you when you pass out. on my shield or my armor. Man, this place... This is thick with foliage. I know. It feels like we're going to be swallowed up by all these plants if we stay in here. Indeed. I much prefer the forests in Menencia myself. Not that I don't agree, but... but maybe now's not the best time for Elder Menencia pride. Smash you! This one's all mine! That's right, That's right, 
here! I'll finish you here and now! I'll stop its charge! Thanks, Kisara! You picked the wrong fight! Forgive me. This is my call. Talon Hurricane! Riven Tail! Sword Rain Alpha! Eagle Assault! You're mine! Here! Wolo Dance! Can't get out of this! Gusty Nail! Savage War! Resonate with the Earth! Talk to the Lord Mike! On you! Luna Rondo! Mirage! You're mine! Mega Sonic Throw! Luna Dove! Talon Hurricane! Now I'm real mad! I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous Claw! With this, I can become even the stronger. Check the owl forest? Aren't you? Vanquish Dark Wheel! Ready to go! Spot. Not in your dreams! Sunline Alpha! Talon Hurricane! Now you see what I can do! They look uh, cute and stuff! Well, but they're victims! You picked the wrong fight! I think you! Glimmer Drew! Come on, you're on! You're mine! Try hard to go! It's over! Negative Stop! Man, I'll try harder! Carry it address! No! Here I come! I'll let you all down! Stay away from my friends! Far enough! Megasonic Thrust! Imbue this vanquished soul with Thrust! Megasonic Thrust! More for the stockpile! I'm on it! I owe you one! I'm not done! Sword Rite Alpha! Do you require a hand? Stalagmite! Mirage! On the knees! No escape! More for the stockpile! Severin wins! Mirage! I'm on! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Dance in the wind! Dragon Shell! Here I come! Last one shot! Eagle Assault! Resonate with the Earth! Do it! Magic is there! Mirage! Cross Blade! Sword Rain Alpha! I'll finish you here and now! Slash! Negative death! This one's all mine! No further! Mirage! Leave the charges to me! Dragon Shell! Sword Rain Alpha! Ready as now! Don't believe in an instant! Impact Cross! How much longer will our healing arts last? Is that... The Zoogle we were told to dispatch.
discourteous, aren't you? You're mine! I can carve through armor! Come to an end. Take it! Yeah. 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 You picked the wrong fight! And bubbling to me! Yeah. Like my... On your heels! Sword Rain Alpha! More with that! Dragon Form! Yeah. 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 Take it! Magic and Here it goes! Take this! Not in your dreams! Sword Rain Alpha! Now! Not my fight! Frozen! Hammer! Now, you're mine! From beyond! In the I'm ready! Dragon. Arctic waterfall! Resuscitation! So, that didn't go... It was planned? We must consider well if this is the right path. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Everything's going pretty well so far. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? You're still awake? I've always been something of a night owl. Ever since back when I was someone's property. Turning in for the night only made the next day come quicker. I wasn't in any great rush. Ah, uh, sorry. What about yourself? Care to share something from before I knew you? You were part of a mage clan, right? Must have been handy being able to rely on magic for everything. Hardly. In fact, not at all. Magic's not so special when you're not allowed to use it. Always scared of who might be watching? Right. Sorry about that. I guess I've read too many fairy tales. We were still made to study it every day. It doesn't make any sense if you think about it, studying the very thing you're being persecuted for. But that's what we did. Just like our parents and their parents before them. Honestly, I don't even know how far back it goes. If memory serves, mages have been the stuff of legend for ages. Even as far back as three centuries ago, they were myths. Your people were persecuted even before the Renans got here. Yeah, the more I think about it, the less it makes sense, though. I mean, it was astral arts that let the Renans dominate Dana, right? Why didn't mages end up being the rulers of Dana, then? Maybe they tried, but they just didn't have the numbers. Or maybe domination just wasn't something they were interested in. Have you ever considered it might have been something like that? I guess I haven't. I wonder why magic alone attracted the attention it did. Swords can be just as lethal in the right hands. Why not ban them? My best guess? Swordsmanship can be learned by anyone. Magic's more of an exclusive club. So, you either have the gift or you don't. When something's not easily obtainable, it's hard to comprehend. People are scared of what they don't understand. And fear leads to persecution. So the problem's not magic. It could just as easily have been anything. Yeah. Hoodle, let me know if you sense anything. Another day, another gold.
Let's see. I've cooked, cleaned, and sewn. I think that's everything for today. Mind if I join you, Law? I'll take guard duty tonight. It's fine. You guys ready to hit the road? I know I am. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Gotta break through! Here I come! Do you work here? Eat dirt! Ha! Try it! Not a chance! Elusive key! Oh, not for fall! Rotating fire! Who is that? Resonate with the young! The light light! Oh, the armor won't save you! Eat your mind! Swallow blade! Sword blade alpha! Lightning orb! You're finished! More where that came from! I'll thank you! Damn it! It's too fast! I'll trip it up. Can't get out of this. You shouldn't have messed with me. I'm not done. Ready to go. Heal. Flash. Savage roar. Pierce through. Demon face. Make the official deep. Demon face. Demon face. Demon face. Demon face. Demon face. Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Is there anything more magnificent than the musculature of a warrior? Perhaps it is in search of this perfect beauty that I myself am drawn into battle. What's this thing?
Okay. Okay. Yes. What? Really? Hmm. Dohalim. <laughs> Dohalim, I'm going to look into some seasonal fishing spots. Hmm, by all means. Leave the preparations to me as well. I'll bring the rods. Would you prefer your fish served grilled or raw? I'll uh, trust your judgment, Kisara. Now, where might those fish be? Ha! All right. Gotta know when to quit. There we go. I'll get you next time. we go. That was disappointing.
All right. I'll get you next time. All right. Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. Guess it's important to stay calm. Power growing. What's up? Once we get to the mountain, the terrain won't be easy. We should rest up here before pressing on. But what about Xion? She's waiting for us. All the more reason to conserve our energy. Huh? It's not only the mountain. Hard though that may be, it's a pittance compared to what follows. Namely, Volron. We wear ourselves out now, or worse still, get injured. We might as well show up gift-wrapped. Right, Kisara? That's right. Besides, Alfin still hasn't fully recuperated yet. I'm fine. Don't stop on my account. Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's me who wants to take a rest for a while. Does that suit you better? <laughs> a little bit.
so Alfin? 300 years, huh? Care to share the secret to such a long and healthy life? I wish I knew. Once I left Lenigus, the next thing I remember is waking up in Calaglia. Everything in between is a blank. You mean, there are still gaps in your memory? I've heard of starships with devices that can stave off imminent death by putting their passenger into a deep sleep. They're usually only intended as a temporary solution, until proper treatment for an ailment or injury can be obtained. You think he might have been asleep in that starship for 300 years? But why? What would be the point? Might this Naori have had a hand in it? What do you mean? If she's Renan like you say she is, she would have understood how to operate the starship better than yourself. <laughs> You're saying she deliberately put me to sleep for 300 years? Dohalim, that's a bit of a leap. Forgive me. I spoke out of turn. I'm merely thinking aloud, that's all. Shion and the maiden Naori. After 300 years, it's not unreasonable to suspect they may be related. Shion is nearly the perfect image of her, yes? She also just so happens to be connected to you. Is it merely a coincidence? <sighs> like I've told you a million times already, I wouldn't know. Well, if you're absolutely certain that it couldn't have been Naori, then I guess I must have been mistaken. Complicated machinery can sometimes break down or have failures. Sorry for being presumptuous. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Alfin, you said the mask was to placate you, right? To keep your guilt and rage in check? And you were wearing it the whole time you were asleep, right? I guess I must have been. So that's 300 years you were wearing it. It's just a hunch, but do you think that the mask might be... The reason he lost all his memories? All but a select few strong ones, so deeply ingrained in his psyche that he saw them in the form of dreams. It's not completely out of the question. In which case, maybe it was the mask numbing his sense of pain, too. It's certainly possible. As for how, I wouldn't know, but the dampening effect on his psyche could have manifested itself physically as well. <sighs> I'm sorry for snapping at you back there. It's thanks to you that I feel like I'm... No, that we're finally getting somewhere with all this. No apologies necessary. Reading others' feelings has never been my strong suit. So he finally admits it. I really hope Xion's okay. I get why you're concerned. But if you don't rest when you can, you're going to regret it. She's right. We need our rest to conserve our strength. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, you two. No problem. We'll save Xion. I know we will. This shall suffice. Please, everyone, have as much as you like. Let's go. We don't want to keep Xion waiting. I always hear you muttering to yourself whenever we're in battle. So, uh, just what are you saying? Why do you want to know? Does it bother you or something? Not really. It's just the way you talk is sometimes 
kind of creepy. So I was wondering if you vent your frustration through your magic. Are you yelling, you stupid jerk, or something like that to pump yourself up? What? No, that's not what's happening during my incantations. I'm just focused, so I match my tone to fit the mood of whatever I'm trying to invoke. Invoke? Uh, how do I put it? Basically, the elemental astral energy behind each art, I guess. Astral energy? Hold on, are you saying you can talk to astral energy? Uh, not exactly. But if I put emotion into what I say, it's easier for me to properly cast my arts. That makes sense? Kind of. Okay, so if you can talk to astral energy, then you can ask it to, like, predict the weather or find secret treasure? Wait, you don't really think that, do you? Or you can ask it to send down lightning to where there's bad guys lurking and... May lightning condemn those who bear fall! Thunderblade! Ah, what are you doing? You almost fried me with that! I just asked the astral energy to send down lightning where there were annoying boys. I don't know what to do. Things can't go on like this. What do you mean? Ah! Oh, it's you, Rinwell. You were talking about me, weren't you? No, I wasn't. I've just been thinking about some things. Really? How unusual. Cut it out. I'm being serious here. Uh, sorry. I was thinking about... You know how I used to work for Ganabelt back when I was in Cislodia? Yeah, of course. You were brought in after the Snake Eyes killed your friends, right? I mean, you had to. Right. I used to have nightmares about it when I fell asleep. But lately, that's been happening a lot less. I don't know how to feel about that. That's a good thing, isn't it? You should be happy. Yeah, but... <sighs> I did a lot of terrible things back then. And I'm scared I'm starting to forget what I did. Okay, so let me just get all of this straight. You think you'll forget everything if you stop having those nightmares? Why? Because... <sighs> you know me. I'm freaking stupid. But it sure doesn't sound to me like you've forgotten. Oh, well, yeah, but still. I don't think those nightmares going away means you've forgotten. Maybe it's a sign that you've come to terms with what you did. Come to terms? You mean like Alfin with his past? You think that's what's happening? Yeah, I do. <sighs> You're pretty amazing, Law. I am? Yeah. Not all of us have figured out how to accept our pasts. Least of all, me. Rinwell. That's what we're going to climb? The villagers managed it on their escape from the city. We're going in the opposite direction, but where there's a will... <sighs> there's always a way, right? And it looks like we're out of options. Let's grit our teeth and go! Is it just me, or does Rinwell suddenly seem much more comfortable around Dohalim than she used to? I noticed that too. When the two of them came and found me together back on the beach, I could hardly believe my eyes. It's not like we had a choice or anything. Law and Kisara had to hang back to convince the villagers we meant them no harm. <sighs> More than that, though, there are a lot of things I've still got to come to terms with regarding Almadria. But I guess I'm through making snap judgments based on someone's origin. At least, I'm trying to be. I guess you could say it's a... Work in progress. I see. You hear that, Law? Sounds like all that hard effort wasn't for nothing. Yeah. That's got to be reassuring to hear. Right, Dohalim? Not being subjected to unwarranted suspicion is certainly welcome. 
Yeah, that long-winded way you have of talking, though? Not so much a fan of that. I think that's more of a personality thing than a Renin trait. Really? In that case, I won't have to feel guilty getting annoyed by it. 